right, question uh, 2.38 says find the uh, equivalent resistance in I0 in the circuit of uh, this figure. Okay, so this one sound like by the first look, it, it looks pretty intimidating. Um, and I agree with you when I first trying to tackle this question, I was a little confused. But once you know what the question is trying to ask you, the key points, then it becomes pretty straightforward, right? So this one it, you, is like sort of testing you how fluent you are to be able to identify uh, knots, right? To simplify uh, this entire circuit. And I think a lot of the professors skip that unit, uh, that little section, the, uh, the knots, loops, and stuff. That's actually really, really important because that helps you to identify uh, whether, uh, you know, in an abstract design, whether these two elements or multiple elements are uh, parallel or not. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. How do we determine knots? Well, knots is just a bunch of... Uh, branches that's connected uh, together to like a single point so right so like these three this is a knot right because now we can just simplify this into uh, this right it just is help us to simplify and then if here's this or um, let's get a little more complicated right well then uh, this is gonna become like this uh, this comes out and then this will okay so this will be a knot so this comes over here and then right and this little okay it's not really a really good example but you see what we're trying to say it's just that you simply you tied everything into one little space right so looking at this graph let me actually uh, make this a little bigger Right, so we can do notations on it. So we can tell, okay, here is a knot, right? And then here, this is actually this whole thing is another knot, right? Because everything is connected into one single point without uh, in co having contact with another element, right? So here is another knot. So there's actually three knots. Well. Uh, well, this whole thing actually can be one and then here's one okay so let me draw a simplified version uh, I'm gonna draw it so if you want to skip it uh, to the next part that's totally fine I uh, skip to the part where I'm finished so let's see here is a knot but it's I encourage you to watch it right so here is a knot and then this is the six right here's another knot. here is the 12 right and then here is the 16 and I'm just gonna leave it there for now and then here is uh, the voltage thing and then this is gonna connect to a big dot right because this 15 is gonna connect to here uh, 6 so this 20 is gonna connect to here and then uh, all these actually this is the 60 right and then this is the 12 and this is uh, the 8 uh, the 80 right and then let me write the numbers on it, it it's a little uh, messy but just uh, give me a second to explain it to you and then you'll see where the magic is happening okay and then here's 15 here is 20 and here is 80 right 80 Okay, so it's a little confusing uh, by this knot, but this is like really, really simplified, right? Because we only have one, two, three, uh, four knots. Okay, and there's, interesting enough, so there's one loop, two loop, three, four, five loops. So the number of knots plus loops, one, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one, one, two, three, four, five, six you see it's always wait hold on one two three four five how many loops wait hold on one two three four five five loops uh five loops plus one two three four knots uh is uh minus one equals eight branches so you should have one two three four five six seven eight branches so yeah the number of loops 
number of loops, it's just the site information plus uh, how many knots, number of knots, it's going to minus one, it's going to give you the uh, number of element, always, always, right, always. Okay, so next, why do we want to simplify this? Well, because unless you're just super amazing at looking at these things and to be able to determine whether who is like parallel or not, the definition how to determine a parallel if two elements are in, are in parallel is that they both share uh, two knots, right? They both share two knots. So for example, this 20 over here, right? And this 80 over here, and they share this knot and this knot, right? Let's just say knot A and knot B, okay? 20 and 80 shares knot A and knot B, right? 20, uh, this 12 and six over here shares knot uh, C and B. You see, right? It's very interesting, huh? Okay, so that means the 12 and the 6 are in parallel and the 20 and 8 are in parallel. Unfortunately, uh, so C, you see right now, maybe after some simplifications, we can simplify more, but so far, this is as much as, as, much as we can go, right? There's no other two resistors that share two knots uh, without having across uh, another element, right? Okay, so I will draw another simplified version after we did the... Uh, the re equivalent, so like the 12 and the 6, so that's going to be 4, right? So it's going to be 4 knots over here. And then um, now I'm just going to draw like the proper way, right? Okay, so the 20 and the 80 uh, simplifies to what? Let's see, 20, 80, 4, uh, 16, right? Is it 16? Let me check my answer. I did. Yeah, uh, yeah, 16, 4 and 16, wonderful. Okay, and then this is uh, the 15 over here. This is the 30 volts, right? And this is the 2.5. And then all the way here, uh, we have 60, right? Da, 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 15 and 2.5, okay? See, we're, uh, it, now it looks a lot more, uh, you know, doable, right? A lot more cleaner, a lot cleaner. Okay, so we're tempting of setting these and these as parallels, right? But we have to add these two first to be able to become a parallel because once they combine together, this one resistor is gonna share this knot and this knot with the 60, right? Because otherwise nothing, you, you can't really add anything else. Um, so yeah, this is what we can do. So the six, four and the six, right? And you can tell. So I'm just gonna draw like one more extra steps. Take one extra steps and then draw the after uh, the simplified version, right? So this is 15, uh, this is the 30 plus over here. And remember, now it's just, so this, this becomes one and this and this becomes one. Therefore, we only have one left, right? which is what? 20, 60, uh, let's see, hold on. 20, 60, so 20, uh, 3, 4, so 15, I believe. Is it 15? Yeah, it's 15. 15, and uh, great. So 15 and 15 are parallel with each other. Uh, when, when two elements are parallel with each other, there's a little shortcut, so you just divide it by two. Right, 15 divided by 2 equals 7.5. And uh, and don't worry, if you're really confused about this part, I'll actually do a little extra steps at the end, so you're not really confused. I mean, but I do want to, you know, do this, you know, quicker, so people, the majority, uh, can doesn't have to hear me talking the entire time. Okay, for too long. All right, so now we have 7.5. 7.5, we have this and this, so we're gonna add them together. So fantastic now we have the equivalent resistance which becomes 10 uh, ohm right this becomes 7.5 7.5 plus 2.5 equals 10 and in a just in a circuit in a, uh, in a circuit in a series we have volts we have resistance uh, according to Ohm's law uh, 40 35 volts over 10 ohm gives you 3.5 
a, right? And that give, and that is uh, that is i not, right? Fantastic. All right. So this is the end. We found the equivalent resistance and we found the uh, current. Okay. So about this part, I, I mean, this is not really that much. I just skipped one more step. So uh, over here, right? So we simplify. Uh, these two so now it just becomes 1 which is 20 right and this is 15 right and this is so you see this goes to here right but what's the difference if it's going from here if it's going from here to here right there's no difference because this thing remember this is a whole knot right I just simply like put them into the standard way how you usually see in the textbooks but you know you do it like this or you do it like this it doesn't really matter because this is one knot or this is you know it's using this knot right here right how it depends how like how far you want to simplify this uh, so if we do this 60 then you actually can just take 1 over 15 1 over 20 plus 1 over 60 add them all together right and then this equals 1 over the r uh, uh, equivalent resistance right and then one over that that's going to give you the equivalent resistance okay cool uh hopefully this was helpful i know this is uh probably uh starting to get a little confusing uh if you're in my class then you know that this is probably one of the confusing ones in this time's homework but yeah hopefully uh this video was helpful and uh good luck on your studies and i'll see you in my future videos bye